you have received a new message. Commander, if you would like to begin the party, you will need to purchase supplies on the Strip first. I have already placed credits in your account for this purpose. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Armax Arsenal Arena. Armax Arsenal and the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board have registered you for a complimentary competitor's pass. You may start a match by going downstairs and selecting simulator options. When you are ready, enter the locker room.
four, three, two, one. Final round. Kill streak. Approaching.
Brilliant endgame. Excellent use of the Deleucine gamut. Is this... space chess? It's called Kepesh Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since... We were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Sousa. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. That was before you helped manage intel for a galactic war. You're right. I've gotten a lot better since I came to the Normandy. Which is a frigate, by the way. So try not to lose it. Roger that. Ah! 
so much real frigate. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now, living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game. So, your job is playing games? Mentoring students in strategic and tactical simulations, yes. Specialist trainer here helped us take down Cerberus. We're preparing our final assault thanks to her efforts. I'm sure she's a wonderful serviceman, but she just lost her last frigate. Ah! Traded her last frigate, actually, for your homeworld. Apologize again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. doing there was a kid here sniveling brat spending all his credits crying so you thought you'd get a prize for him he asked look simple enough god damn it where's the kid what do i care got any credit shepherd isn't there something better we could go do what could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani not getting bested by some fucking kid's game? You really want one of those plushy toys? Goddamn right I do. Okay then. Credits. Sure. But even a bounty hunter's gotta use his manners once in a while. Please. Easy. Easy. It's obviously rigged somehow. Rigged? I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Probably some smart ass Salarian bastard. I'm going back in. Credits. Here you go, sweetheart. Okay, Zaid. Where to? How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? But this time, you play with your own damn credits. I'm man enough to pay for my own addictions, Shepard. Addiction? Already? I'm an all-in kind of guy. I think I knew that about you. Congratulations! You're a winner! Wanna try? Did you catch 
the updated intel reports on stripping enemy defenses? That's a bit. That's for crew reading. Seek a prize newly restored claw game upstairs. Good night. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places everyone. Quickly, quickly! Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras! And... action! Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. <laughs> yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen Roast. You die now! Not yet! That line comes later! The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions! I believe I have been misinformed about the purpose of this vid. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Salarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Salarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean, no like you! Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto, about time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed audits. Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign? Saren? You might have heard of them? Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Rothian, no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's summer, half brother sluggard! And he's looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double! Your line. Say your line. Uh, you'll die now! Oh no! The Vorcha Counselor is indoctrinated! This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Strike the set. Tell casting we'll need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. With the 
production of Francis Kidd's All L Four Hamlet and its Rubicon. I am now available. Sincere request. If you know any good agents, please send them my way. Senek, hit the calm. Tiana, distract the bouncer. Urch, you take the vault. Avoid the thermal sensors. They trigger the lockdown. You'll hit motion sensors, and that'll alert security. Verk, steal a uniform. You go in as security, fake the arrest. Whoops, I seem to have the wrong casino. Kasumi? <sighs> take a walk, guys. I can explain. I believe I hired you because you were the best damn thief in the galaxy. Sweet talker. Are you hard up for credits or is this just to stay in practice? People who can't get to the Citadel are having a rough time out there. This place has more money than it knows what to do with. It can help those refugees survive. And it's not like the owner can spend it if the Reapers win. So you're robbing the rich to help the poor? I'm doing what I do. Raiding Cerberus bases and infiltrating Reaper-held locations is fun. But I'm a thief. Stealing? It's who I am. Without it, I... By the way, are you gonna call security? Just don't get caught, okay? Hey, come on. I never get caught. Come on, guys. Show's on. Excuse me, is there a problem? No. No problem at all. No hustlers at my table. Fair warning. <laughs> Surely treating you. Good. The break was nice. We've been fighting Reaper controlled guests. Oh, that's brutal. I know, right? What a big winner at the roulette table tonight. Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? I was thinking a date. Excuse me. I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um, hmm, hello, and, hmm. Tell her she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but decent, overall. Oh, thank you, I think. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. I'm here to unwind. Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this... thing I forgot I had to do, and... I should probably just go do it.
Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus, and I'd love to have a drink with you. Hey, glad you can make it. I've got us set up.
Damn, it's nice to relax. Loose, not worrying about the kids. It's worth the stress to watch the people you're commanding come into their own, though. Shut up. Who said I was talking about you? You know, if there is a god, that's what she sounds like. Just a big, deep boom. So, you know, everything's gonna be okay. Thanks for coming, Shepard. Wouldn't have missed it. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. <laughs> as long as you keep control of those biotics of yours. So what does happen to a biotic when they're completely borracho? <laughs> Stick around, muscles. Maybe you'll find out. Yeah, muscles. I like that. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit. Even just for a night. I think we've all learned to rest. That we have, Cortez. Here's to taking a damn break. I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always wanted one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. So, Shepard, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait. What? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up the Cerberus 
and ask them to please build us the SR3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Vas Normandy. <laughs> von means one who has a weak bladder, which feels appropriate right about now. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Hear, hear. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. <laughs> Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure, but some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. Also, Dr. Chuckwas apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends, I'm glad we could do this. Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? I want to check on a few things before we change things up. Certainly, Commander. You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. I'm sure they paid, but you ever bring up vacation time? There was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah? Thanks. Be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. <laughs> you know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything, and we were doing good work. And crunches. Remember that. Lots of crunches. Hey. Not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. <laughs> Edie, up for some bad examples of human behavior? I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Grammar correction? Not the best icebreaker. Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. Try not to be too embarrassing. You are impossible. I must admit, I still feel like something of an outsider. You all have such a history with Shepard. It's mostly a lot of running and shooting, and usually somewhere in there, a button needs pushing, but Shepard always haunts that part. Yes, 
A history of close calls, narrow escapes, and more near-death encounters than I care to remember. Working with Shepard reminded me of my younger days. Running with mercenaries, blowing things up with mercenaries, and occasionally sleeping with mercenaries. I remember first meeting Shepard. All I kept thinking was, I hope he took a shower, because my filter needs replacing, and humans carry a lot of germs. I'm guessing that's not what you think anymore. Well, she may still picture him in the shower. Protein gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. That sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. So who is strongest, you or the tank break? Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. What'd I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. No, it isn't. Baby Pie Jack here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Ha! Ah! I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. You boys done talking? Yeah. Only one way to settle this. Who's it? You got it. <laughs> now the party's starting. Another time, guys. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Ah, oh, just when it was getting good. Yeah, you got lucky. Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. Forget I said anything. In my cycle, too many people in one room risk the high casualty rate of attack. We should all be careful. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? Beware. Something called a Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. Foolish primitive. Nothing escapes these eyes. Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. What kind of music is this? That's not that club crap, is it? I do, I mean it. Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? Party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. I heard there's a big party in there. Can we come in? No, you can't. Go away. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really. No. Get lost. <laughs> no. Can I try that? Sure. <laughs> Press this button and say no. Oh. Uh, no. Great work. Oh, good. Thanks. No. See? Easy. Keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No! 
Yes, I like pie. And no, you can't come in. Hey, Shepard, thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tariq. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tariq and raise you Azoria, home of toxic spores and athletes' long. Neither of you'd last a day on Tuchanka. And Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the wildlife. Hey, guys. Talk and chop? No worries. This is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? A weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot? That's no good. What if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always trade. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. <laughs> Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Joker's body count is plenty high. You don't need to take him anywhere. This is not about me knocking Joker. This is about being prepared for the worst. Man, I didn't hear of any gunplay when Rex grabbed your shuttle on Sir Cash. If there had been, I'd have killed our best shot at an alliance with the Krogan. You mean you would have wounded him? Ha! Ah. Then maybe we should drink. To brains as well as guns. Done. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. Help! My glass is empty! Hey, sweetheart. We never really talked about it, but you and me have a lot in common. We do. Of course we do. We're both hunters, right? I suppose we are. And? And, well, and we're both good looking. Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Samara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. I like the way the colors blend, and the depth of the... Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy. Like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. <laughs> you are a complicated individual, Aid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. Here's the thing, beautiful. I've had a few drinks. You've had a few drinks. I haven't. Right. Still, what do you say that we sit by that fireplace and snub? You've never struck me as the snuggling type. Even a ruthless killer's got to have a soft side. And I can see from here you definitely have a soft side. <laughs> Come on. No. Well, that's clear enough. So, you're leading the Grissom Academy students? Yeah. Is that a problem? Just a surprise. Your psych profile suggested you were mainly interested in yourself. You're telling me I'm only interested in myself? <laughs> oh, that's just fucking perfect. Did it occur to you that maybe I'm trying to grow as a goddamn person? Oh, I could tell you were growing. 
I assumed it was whatever that is you're wearing. Oh, these? Well, yeah. They were strapped down with a leather belt before. It's kind of a stupid move to show off your rack in the middle of a maximum security prison ship. I never had the pleasure. You'd never survive. You might break a nail. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You're a spoiled rich girl cheerleader. Victim. Test tube clone princess. I think it's past your bedtime. Oh, did I hit a nerve? I didn't get to read your psych profile. Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Hey, cheerleader. My hair and I have been fighting brutes and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Honestly, I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. What? I mean... This is all just sexual tension, right? Two powerful biotics, forceful personalities, confident in their sexuality. You are shitting me. Oh my god. I'm ready to record. I'm pretty sure there's a market for this. Kasumi, I will find you and I will hurt you badly. Ugh. I need another drink. One for me too. No ice. Don't worry, Shepard. The cheerleader and I are just messing around. You sure? You two seem pretty serious. Nah. She fights better when she's pissed off. I'm just trying to keep her primed. We could just talk. I'm sure you've got a few stories to tell. Almost a thousand years worth. I'd like to hear them. And then I could tell you about my... Jesse. Oh, Jesse was beautiful. Once you've experienced a love like that... Did you and Jesse have children? Oh, no. Jesse was my rifle. But also my best friend. You know, Zaid, there's nothing wrong with silence between two friends. Oh. Specialist trainer, may I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh no. Should I find someone else to be? No! No, 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 I wanted to ask you about... Uh, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive corps? Uh, no. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. She does. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? So true. Tolly, please stop helping. What's wrong, you two? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, there's a context there that... You were talking about quantum entanglement, and I didn't know you were an AI. There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostic suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herbs dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Kila, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair is fair, trainer. 
Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in Trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in certain sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program so I don't die. I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Awkward. Awkward. Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying... Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. <sighs> Only a little. Maybe. I'm just saying. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean, check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, you work for it. I get that. I mean it. Check me out. Is there more to your argument? Come on in closer. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, don't be shy. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Come on, Loco. You have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. And what about our poor friends stuck with flawed implants? Wait, what? You're not talking about me, are you? <laughs> I mean, I may be L2, but I've worked very hard. And now I can read. Really? That's... no. That's a bit strange. Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Vega. Hey, Liara. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Why? We're still talking about combat, right? Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit-ups. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> uh, goddess. I'm gonna have to go with James on this one. Oh, thanks, Shepard. Biotics are a little intangible when there's an example of physical excellence standing in front of you. Nice. First questionable decision I've seen you make. Ever. Check it out. I can also roll my tongue. Oh, my. That's... Shepard, if that's your decision, I support you. Always. James, please stop doing that. Hey. <laughs> need me to do anything? Uh, food run, change the music, check on ice. I need you to relax and have a good time. Okay, you're the boss. Uh, hey, maybe I'll cook something. Caden, just relax. Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin functionality. Jeff. Yes, Edie. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? 
It's gonna take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, that's cheating. So we won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. You will not. Well, I will. Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with her. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. Joker. No. Come on. No. Seriously? Ugh, fine. <laughs> Dancing during wartime wastes precious energy. Can't dance myself. I move like a greased one-legged varn. <laughs> Not a pretty picture. Trevor! So here's where the party's at. Goddamn right. Come to hang out with the popular kids, Shepard. Easier to talk back here. What do you think of the music? Great? Bad? What? Not as good as in your cycle, eh, Javik? Am I right? Not even remotely. Knew it. Oh, maybe we can leg wrestle later. Perfect end to a perfect evening. Sure, absolutely. I'll look for you later then, maybe. I got a this. I'm gonna feel this in the morning. Every chance I get. You're a beautiful book. And the box of the brief legend is finally answered. Oh, hey Jeff. You're going through my drawers? I go through everyone's drawers. Can't you just mingle and have fun like a normal person? Why would I want to do that? By the way, you have excellent taste in underwear. Glad you could make it, Cindy. Hey, I'm having a really good time. By your very strange standards. Yep. Well, at least I sleep. One hundred and sixty. Anyone county? Miranda? <laughs> Absolutely. I think you're just fantastic. How many have I done? Keep going. Shepard. What's up? Just demonstrating a little physical supremacy. But can you do that with a drink and a snack in each hand? Sure. Ugh. Wow. Why is Caden lapping you? Don't act so surprised. Jacob is showing you up. How come? What do you mean? This is my thing, baby. Seem a little slow tonight, James. Well, nobody's perfect. How's it going on your end? <laughs> okay, now. Let's find a more fun way to get sweaty. Come on, let's dance. Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Glad you came. Strange to see everyone in one place. 
perfect, really. Hey, Shepard. You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. This is unexpected and fun. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Yes, you and the Asari. I'm surprised you don't tip over. I don't tip over until I found company, dog legs. Till then? Watch and learn. Hell yeah! Ha! Go for it! Ha! <laughs> 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 Captain on deck! Has he always been like this? You learn to love it. It's very enthusiastic. It is impressive. We should record this and broadcast it for the Reapers. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. <laughs> good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you all for your loyalty and support. Taking a wild guess here, Shepard. But whatever you're serving is... Starting to kick in. Has Leon always been so blue? Would you care for a memento of this evening, Commander? My surveillance systems include state of the art cameras. Please gather everyone by the living room couch if you are ready. Dancing is off. Hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. OK. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! Normandy. Who's here? Kila. I'm going to be so sick. Totally worth it. I'll let you know. Ugh. Who put my suit back on? The buckles are all askew. And when did I get an Omni tattoo? Let's see if anyone else is up. Sorry. 
There was one. The Ara. She had those eyes and that voice. She was blue. No, no. It was just a dream. Smelled primitives. Oh, it was no dream. Was someone making tea? I could use some tea. The apartment seems so quiet now. The apartment seems so quiet now. Did we uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe I should just stop saying that word. But only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. Miranda takes forever to do her hair. You'd think with her jeans, she wouldn't need to. Shepard, good morning. I want to thank you for inviting me here. It was good to see everyone again. I hope you enjoyed your evening as well. I am going to die. I didn't know you could go through that many toxin filters in one night. Do I have a tattoo? I remember something about a tattoo. Don't get me wrong. Great party, but... Ugh, yeah. I'll just be here. Right here. Forever. Ugh. Ugh. Shepard, I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? I feel fantastic. How about everyone else? 1,085, 1,086, 1,087. Shepard? Shepard? Hey, you look like shit. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. Even normal biotics get hangovers, but I can drink until I puke and still wake up just peachy. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. Hey. I think I broke my head on something last night. Bathroom is all cleaned up, Shepard. Good as new. Shepard. Shepard. Morning, Shepard. I had a lovely time last night. I see everyone survived the festivities, more or less. Mmm. Good tea. Mmm. Okay, who wants eggs? Liara. Eggs? Trainer. Esteban. Eggs? Joker. Where is that guy? Caden. Here's some eggs to go with that cuff. Rex. Buddy, eggs? Tally? Ah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javik, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Miranda? Shepard? Eggs? Shepard? Now that was a great time. There's coffee. Who wants coffee? I want coffee. More coffee? Am I being too loud? Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. So I've managed not to throw up. Feeling pretty good about that. Oh, if everyone could just not talk so loudly, that would be great. Or close the cupboards too loud. Or walk too loud. You know, just, just think quiet thoughts. Ugh. Still fun, though. Commander. 
Commander. Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. About time. You live past 700. You start paying for a night like that the next morning. Huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. Oh, I would have thought all those tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last night. What a night. Wish it never ended. Thanks, Shepard. Thanks, Shepard. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. By the way, you're almost out of bacon. Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that dextro shit in the freezer. I saved you three strips. Figured it was fair payback for all the times you saved mine, right? Shepard? Shepard? Morning, Chef. You went all out with the breakfast supplies. I didn't know you could get real milk on the Citadel. I had some. Thought it was soy. I'm not really lactose intolerant. I just don't put up with lactose's stupid drama. In case I don't see you again, thanks. That was a lot of fun. I should go. Stupid dairy products. Hey. Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? There's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? <laughs> I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. Commander. Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 